Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another single-player episode. Uh, last time we were playing, we were starting to make a chip pile. Um, I just wanted to get rid of these uh, logs here real quick, because we did have this stuff out here. Then I think we're going to um, park all this equipment aside, and we're going to start uh, doing our um, our little lakeside thing. Now, since we're over here, I think my plan is I'm actually going to bring uh, the chips in here and start filling it in on this side. I want to see how much we can fill in. I don't know. I think it would be a fun project. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll have a good time with it. But I uh, definitely want to test some of that stuff out. I'm just going to go park this truck and trailer. I think I'm going to sell pretty much um, most of my logging equipment just to help us with performance for the time being. Um, we'll get rid of the uh, grapple loader and that kind of stuff because we won't be using that for a little bit here now that we kind of have that other operation up and going. So I'm just going to bring this guy, park it. Uh, maybe we'll sell this truck, see if we can still get a, a buck or two for it. And then, uh, yeah, we can see where we end up here. So I think I'm just going to park it alongside. I think I had one more slot available here. I know it's not really a full load, but that's okay. We're going to put it in there anyway and see what happens. Just back it right on in there. That way, at least we got all of our, our stuff cleaned up that we had out there. So, and then eventually we'll take a flyover with the helicopter and see what we uh, see what we got there. Okay, so let's see what we got in the garage. We got a couple of trucks. Uh, one was for low bedding. I wonder which one. Let's try to sell. This one's worth less, so I think it's this one. Yeah, it was good. Okay, so we got our buncher out there, which we will need. We need the chipper. We don't need the forwarder anymore, at least not for the time being. Uh, we do need that. We won't need the dangle loader. We won't need the grapple loader. I think that's pretty much it, hey? Okay. Probably don't need all the, oh, these log trailers are just our log trailers that are sitting here, which is fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick save. I always forget to do that. Uh, and I think what we should do, oh, I know what we're gonna do. We were gonna buy, uh, oh, ah, that's right. I was gonna do that, bring in the new skitter. Um, I haven't done that yet, so we won't use that skitter just yet. Maybe we'll bunch then for this uh, episode while I get everything cleaned up here. Then, uh, when we come back, uh, like I said, I'm just filming this one episode tonight. And then I was going to go do a bunch of modding stuff. So I think I'll probably go work on those um, skitters tonight. I think I promised I'd do it last time, but I totally forgot. And they're not quite 100% yet. Like I said, I'm kind of trying to balance my time here so whenever I have a plan it sometimes works out but sometimes it definitely doesn't for scheduling so we'll cut that out of there and what I might start doing is I might get like a kind of like I did before with the winter map and the summer map I think I might just get a few maps going and have a few different projects going on each of them just think I change it up it makes it a little more fun for me and for you guys some of you guys watch so, well, it's funny, because I'll get some, some people who love a certain map, and they just get absolutely absorbed by it, and then others who get so bored of the same map seeing it over and over. So at least if I offer um, some variety for you guys, then, you know, you got something to work with at least. We'll see. Also got to bring back Plow Wars. Um, I guess now that it's becoming winter, I'm going to be more encouraged to get into the plowing stuff. But uh, Plow Wars is definitely going to be a thing still. I just uh, I haven't had time to make new equipment. I have plans for stuff I want to make, like plow machines and plow you know stuff, but I just haven't had time to put it all together. I'm going to build a, another snow plow here, or at least try to. And uh, yeah, we'll just do some plowing, maybe some, some kind of hauly stuff where we're hauling around equipment or playing with some slippery roads. And ultimately, what I would love to make in uh, 2019 when it comes out with the new map editor, I would love to make um, a strictly huge hauling map, like where basically it's like ice road trucker style hauling. I know it's not really super logging, but I just, I love making plow stuff now. FDR logging slash plowing. <laughs> That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Like, so for instance, you have to, you know, clear a path have you know there's more snow in one area or like a rocked off area with like a really and i have the ability to make sections of road like violently slippery if i really wanted to 
so that when you drive over it, the trailer basically just loses control. So I'm going to work with some of the ground physics on the next one and see what we can do. But I definitely have some pretty cool plans for doing some plow stuff. And then, uh, yeah, we'll try out different trailers. We'll use, like, you know, big cube trailers and stuff and try to haul them across. Or we could bring, you know, loads of wood. Whatever we want, really. And we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot. Oops. Oh, no, no, no. Come here. Where are you going, tree? Oh, you got stuck here somehow. There we go. But yeah, definitely lots of uh, cool concepts for sure. Just gotta actually implement them and make them work. That's the hard part. The hardest part for 2019 is going to be getting um, our bunchers up to speed. One thing I really hope they fixed, and I'd be able to use just a regular buncher script if they did, is um, the uh, the cut node for when you cut with the saw, so it doesn't automatically notch the tree, because then I could use the, the cut node to make it fall wherever I want. That's what I'm really hoping they fixed. But it wasn't really a fix, so I, I highly doubt they did anything with that. Which is unfortunate. And I'll have to use something similar to this script. Which I don't even know who made this script. I just put it on the buncher because it worked really good. It was for the AWHI or something, which was like a chipper. One of the uh, one of the guys sent it to me and said, Oh, try this script. And it worked really well. But um, I have no idea who uh, wrote the original one. Whoever wrote the original one, I'd like to hire them and come work for me. Because I have so many cool projects that I could use a really good scripter guy for. That would be pretty cool. So if there's anybody out there who's a really good guy at doing scripting for farming, or that can do scripting for farming simulator, you just give me a shout. Because we got cool things to talk about. Yeah, we cleared all that up pretty quick, didn't we? Alright, so let's uh, see where we end up here. Knock down half the forest, so that's always a bonus. I wonder if we can get those ones up there. I mean, I know we can get them, but I wonder if it's worth it. Is it worth it? Nah, let's not knock this. We'll just block our path, so... Let's knock down some of these guys over here. And put this guy right about there. We'll sneak in alongside this guy and grab his friend here. Oops. A shave there. Just a quick shave, huh? I really gotta fix my pedals, lock them onto the floor or something. Problem, like I said, the problem with my new place is I have hardwood floors. So, um, I can't drill into the floor, obviously, because it's a really expensive floor. But the, uh, the pads on the bottom of these, uh, sticks don't really stay in place. They tend to slide around quite a bit, so... I'm either gonna have to get some, like, sticky tape or something, or... I don't know. Gotta figure out some kind of a strategy, because this ain't working the way it is. A lot of wood back here. Hey, I didn't think it actually uh, went this far, but apparently it does. So what we'll do is make a kind of a track here, and then once we uh, once we skid it out, we can continue off on that other end. And we've, we've knocked down a lot of trees, and the performance is still pretty good too. So that's uh, that's another bonus. And I'm hoping to God they optimize the new game. I really am. Because if the new game is nice and optimized and works good. It'll be good. There we go. Like, I dream of the day where we can have, like, decks of wood for, like, you know, a mile. It's just sitting around and being chill without accidentally bumping into it and having the game drop down to three frames. I mean, you can do it. You just have to spread your decks out, like, a lot. And they can't be very big. I'd like to be able to have more than, like, a you know, 100 pieces of wood in one pile without the game, like, literally going down to 5 frames a second. That'd be cool. That would be cool. 
But even like, doesn't matter what kind of computer you have, you have the best processor ever, and it still, still kind of conforms to the uh, the confines of the uh, game's engine. So we're all hoping there is a slight upgrade, even a slight upgrade in the new one. Ooh, ooh, ooh! There we go. Drop that there. Drop one of these over here. I guess that's where that's going. All right. Perfect. What else we got over here? Oh, this one last tree. I'm going to cut this one tree here. Actually, I'm going to cut both these trees. And I want your little buddy, too. And we're going to throw those in this pile. And I think I'm going to call it here for the time being. Just because... Uh, there's still a lot to do, and I do want to bring those dangle skitters in. I really want to show you guys how those work. They're kind of cool. Something definitely a little different for sure. So, um, Anyway, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. But yeah, either way, we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.